welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. And yes, I, you know what? I have this habit. I always, always, no matter what time of the day it is, I just say good morning. I do. Um, I can run into somebody at like 10 o'clock at night and I'll be like, good morning. <laughs> and everybody always corrects me. They're like, it's nighttime. And I'm like, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. So uh, wherever you are, happy day to you, wherever you are, whatever time it is, happy day. Um, I want to start the show by saying thank you so much for joining me and being here with us. Uh, hopefully this is going to be quite an amazing show. I want to um, thank everybody who's already on the chat live um, on YouTube. If you want to join us live, you can. It's just every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. You can join on um, YouTube or you can call in. Uh, you can still call in today. The number is 845-277-9131. And um, I will answer questions uh, from callers and also from people in the YouTube chat. Okay. A uh, couple little pieces of information really quick. Um, hey, Stevie, how are you? Um, yeah, my brain. Okay. Yes, here it is. Okay. Um, listen, I will never reach out to you for a uh, reading or anything else. I don't reach out to people um, to tell them they need a reading in the comments or anything else. And the scammers are stepping up their game. So the scammers are now taking from me and other people. They're just replicating our pages and then taking our content and putting it up. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do with these people? Like if they put this is my thing. If con men and scammers put that much energy into their own thing, think of how like famous and how big they would be, right? But it is what it is. So just please know I will never ever reach out to you. I will never ask you or tell you that you need a reading. I won't do any of that stuff. So just know that if you want a reading, you reach out to me. And I only have the one website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Okay. The number you call in for the show is not my business number. That's just the show line. My business number is 414-897-2869. That's the only way to get a reading, hypnosis, or healings from me. Alrighty, I want to say hello to everybody online there. I, I'm just so grateful for everybody here. Um, we have Heather, we have Sal, uh, Mimi, hey Mimi, we have Vaughn, um, Patrick, hey Patrick, um, Genevieve, Caroline, Ryan, hey Ryan, how are you? And Mo, thank you so much everybody uh, for being here. I'm so grateful for you being here. If you have something you would like cleared, please post it in the chat. If you want to call in with a question, please feel free to call in with a question. And here we go. I'm going to get started right away with the call log. Um, 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, this is Kate. Hey, Kate, how are you today? And I'm in Colorado. Oh, excellent. Good, excellent. it's freezing. I don't know up there, it's like 20 degrees, but yeah, uh, all, it's it's bundled up. Yep, pretty cold in the Midwest, but if you go from like a warmer client climate to a cooler climate, it's definitely very, um, very different. Very, it's a lot colder. Is that the way to say that? Because you're not used to the cooler temperatures. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So Kate, how can I help you today? Um, well, I keep getting more visits on my bed. You know, so I've been house sitting. And it's like something has opened up and all of the pet pets are 
on the spirit side, they come, wherever I am now, I get, I feel, it feels like cats or dogs jumping on my bed when I'm <laughs> about to fall asleep. Okay, so um, Kate, a couple things could be happening. Um, the first thing I get is just commun. If you, I know it's probably a little bit late and you're tired. Ask them what they need. That's the first thing I get. Is there anything you oh. need? They may oh. just need something um, before they transition. Um, they may be coming through from the other side they may have transitioned and be coming through just to communicate messages to you um i oh. will tell you every single person and i can i cannot stress this enough um every single person i've communicated with the dreams are off the hook right now um yeah. something's going yeah. on where our dream states and i've had like I I was um, asleep, and for those of you who know, I used to have two little hairless Chinese cresteds, and um, yeah. I was asleep, and one of them literally jumped up, and I was I was in that state where you know when you're sleeping, and you think you you woke up and you pulled the cover off. I think it's called sleep paralysis. You think you woke up and and you got up and then you realize you're still sleeping. Like you're trying to get up but you can't get up. So I was having a sleep oh, paralysis yeah. thing. Okay, so here's the whole dream. So let's go. It's so weird. So I saw, I saw a guy, like a a guy, uh, cut and in like go to walk into the room. And then he saw, he looked at me. This is all a dream, folks. He looked at me and then he backed up, but I could still see he was still there. Um, and so I was trying to wake up from, from my sleep. Now, we've all had this. This is no big deal. Like, we've all had these things. But I was in sleep paralysis and could not get wake up. So my little Max, my little guy Max, that used to be my male hairless Chinese crusted, jumped up and I was petting him and it felt so real. Like the little bumps that he would get on his skin, I could even still feel that. Um, and um, I know that now they are on the other side and they're my guardians. I know that for a fact. That's how they come to me to and protect me. And in my dream, I knew this guy, this thing, it, this person that was walking through my home was a spiritual being that was not whatever. And it sent this green puff of smoke at me. I know this is like the craziest dream. I can't believe I'm telling this. Well, here I'm wasting like 10 minutes of your life. You can never get bad telling you my crazy dream. However, and now I feel like I need to finish it. I need to own it to the end. Um, this green puff of smoke at me. And so in my dream, like I'm fighting off this green puff of smoke by sending it white energy. And then like back to the spirit okay. being that was there and then it disappeared and then I could wake up. Okay. So the point is if you're having these dreams with spiritual things and sleep paralysis, just call in the white energy. If you can remember to do that in your dream state, you, however, dear, start communicating I'm awake. Yeah. with the be okay. with the animals yeah. that are coming in because the message I'm getting is that they um, they they need to communicate. There's some sort of closure that they need. And even if you are never yeah. able to get the message to their loved ones, you're going to want to um, just at least hear their message and listen, you know, hear what they have to say. And you don't necessarily have to wake up to do that. You can just do that while you're in your sleep state still. Um and I do know, I'm going to say it again, so many people have been having such vivid dreams, good and not so good. Um, so if, if you are having vivid dreams before you, I know this sounds crazy again, folks. If you're having really bad, vivid dreams, take a red onion 
I know. Just, I know. Mm. If, don't knock it until you've tried it. Now, uh, cube the red onion into four, right? And then put a quarter of the onion in your room. Now, one thing red onions do is they absorb bacteria, illness, things like that. So it's great in the winter for colds and such. If there's anything, any, um, what do they call that? Like stuff floating around your room, uh, it'll absorb into the onion. But when I have a red onion cut up in my room and, and put it throughout the house, the house feels better and I don't have nightmares. I'm going to tell you that. So if you are having bad right. dreams sure. or night <laughs> tremors, just try it and then come back and tell me how it worked for you because it worked amazing for me. And and Mo is saying, yeah, that I, I love eating the onions too, but I will tell you this because they do absorb bacteria and illness. If it's been sitting out, even in your fridge, cut up, do not eat it. Once it's cut, use it all or let it sit out to absorb more. But if it's been sitting out like on a salad bar or something, do not eat it. Do not eat it because it's absorbed all the pollutants from everything around it. So yeah, that's what I would say about that. Um, so try that, but communicate. Okay, Kate, uh, 20 minutes later, <laughs> communicate with <laughs> communicate with the animals coming through. You will not regret it. You will not. Um, I feel like you're gonna get some really incredible communication from them. And I feel like it might lead you to something even more if you do so choose. Okay, beautiful. I think thanks. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Can you do a like a hearing? Like I, I hear the messages. I will hear and remember messages or any I think I need a clearing of Okay. I to can open that up. I can. Um I can. Okay, for you, everybody listening, re listening, watching, re watching. Um, we hear the messages that are meant for us. I get a no, so let's clear that. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, that hits me again in that solar plex area, like right here. And that's all yeah. fear. That's all fear. So let go of the fear. We're afraid to hear messages. Let's clear that. And I don't blame, you know, back in the day, if you heard messages, they thought you were possessed or crazy. So it was an exorcism or like electro brain shock therapy or burning you at the stake. I mean, pick your choice, <laughs> which one, <laughs> right? <laughs> so back in the day, so it's there's such a stigma with hearing messages. Um, and let's not forget the whole, how do you know who you're listening to? How do you know if it's a good message or a bad message? Well, you know what? I'm just going to say the devil isn't trying to spread love. So if it's a message of love, you know it's good. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of fear with hearing messages. So let's clear all the fear with hearing and knowing it's a good message. And then let's clear uh, any interference between us and our angels be immediately cleared and healed. Now, if you don't, if you don't personally work with angels and you work with other deities, let's say you're Indian from India or Native American Indian or any other, whatever you work with, um, whatever your deity is, I'm a-okay with that. Just replace that word with whatever your deity is. Um, like if it's Ganesh or if it's like the God of Thunder or is that Thor? Is Thor the god of thunder? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, folks. Could I be serious for like 30 seconds? No, no, I can't. Okay. Um, having said that, Kate, I hope this was really helpful for you. And I I think... I love it all always. Thank you. My ears were hot. My, my, ears, my, my ears and my throat are hot. So that, was, that worked great. Oh my gosh. And I so folks, thank you, Kate. And like, um, so when you, okay, so here's, oh my gosh, I love that. When I do clearing, sometimes we have, uh, sometimes we feel it, sometimes we don't. And sometimes it is that. And when, when it's the heat or the 
really icky feeling, that's something really toxic going. And that um, for your ears and your throat to be hot, then you know something's leaving. Get ready, Kate. I hear that song, Ready or Not. Here it come. I'm going to find you. <laughs> going to find you. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes. So that means, um, I and then I hear that song is going down for real. So get ready because something is opening up. Don't be afraid as I say this. Like, don't reinstill that fear. Something's opening up that's going to allow you to really communicate with animals from the other side and this side. And I feel like maybe that's your next step. I mean, Maybe this is where you're going. Um, I would really, really love to hear more about this um, on Wednesday. Call in because I want to know um, how much this opens up. And everybody else, if you feel this clearing, let me know. If you're in the chat and you're feeling this clearing, let me know. Um, Heather says her dreams have been crazy too, right? man, can we sleep for more than 20 minutes seriously without waking up having some kind of, who, who, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Genevieve felt this clearing in her forehead. I love this. You guys, thank you for letting me know that because that's, that's why I do this. Like it's, it's, you know, I just want us all to get there. I don't care. I just want us all to be there and to be in that space where we are there, whatever there is for you, right? It's it's so, yeah, I love that. Um, anyway, okay, Kate, uh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Genevieve. Okay. Thank you, Heather. For uh, And uh, Heather also felt it in her um, chest and ear pressure. And that is clearing that out so we can hear. Now, wait and watch what happens if we clear it out so we can see. But a lot of you aren't ready for that yet. <laughs> okay, Kate. I am gonna um I'm gonna go to the next caller now, but thank you so much for calling in and, and sharing this with us. I can't wait to hear the details on the updates, okay? Okay, great. I love it. Me too. Thank you so much. And I do want to say um, for all of you that are feeling this on the chat or, you know, on the podcast or on any venue that you're watching or listening on, um, communication might open up a little bit more for you if that's what you want. OK, a lot of people do want to hear those messages from their grandparents or their parents or their loved ones that have passed on or their pets that have passed on. And when pets pass on or even when they're here, it's a tele telepathic message and they're speaking English. Um, they speak your language that you speak. Uh, they don't bark at you to communicate. Um, OK, I'm going to go to seven. Uh, 727, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, my name's Lisa. I'm calling from Florida. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lisa, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. How can I help you, Lisa? So I was working for this app and um, I they let me go about four days ago. Do you feel like They'll never, ever reach out to me again. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I, first, I I did get an answer to that, but you were working for an, did you say app, A-P-P or A-S-S? -S? Yeah. An app. Yeah, an application. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I was like, like, like uh, apparently I can hear spirit just fine. People, that's where my problem comes in. Okay. Okay. Um, no, I don't. Um, <laughs> as far as them reaching out to you, I don't feel like they are going to. However, here's the good side of that. I do feel like um, you are going to have something of your own 
that you can create, I think you need to start working on it right away. I do feel like there is another yeah. position coming in for you. It will be with a completely different company. I do feel like whoever's mm -hmm. whoever's coming in for you, it's a much better fit for you. It's a much more solid fit for you. I do feel like it's it's a bigger... Okay, I don't know what this means in your world, and hopefully you do. It's a crossover. It's a crossover. Now, I don't yeah. know. Okay, so thank you. I don't know if that's the app you're going to be working on personally, or if it is um, the company you're going to work for is a crossover. But I'm going to tell you it's a crossover, and I'm going to tell you it's you you are going to have to reach out to them, but I feel like you are going to find them very quickly. But I also, I'm going to say this again, Lisa, and I cannot stress it enough. I feel like you need to get on your app right away, the app you're going to create. And why am I seeing, like, Lisa, I, I'm just seeing that I don't know, I don't know a lot about this part of the world, but this app type stuff part of the world based on the way I'm communicating it, it would be hard to tell. I know, I know, right? I hide it so well. Here's what I'm going to say. What right. I'm seeing is like a game type. I don't know if you're going to create a game and an app or the app is a game, but either way, that's where you're oh, going. Wow. That's where you're going. And it's, it's, it's cute. I, I don't want to say like it's a game, but it's like um, I, I can't tell you. They're just showing me what I would know for a game. Like they're showing me one teeny weeny bit that would say, OK, this is a, like a game. So I think you need to get on that right away. I think that's your Fortune 500 thing. Um and anybody right. who has listened to me for more than a minute knows, I believe our success, our money, our abilities should never be capped by a company. Sometimes, yes, we do have to work for a company to get that steady insurance check, yada, yada, yada. But I do believe we should have our own thing going on where it is uncapped. I always believe that. And Lisa, this yeah. is your thing. This is your this is your Jimmy to your jam to your whatever. And uh, again, I'm hearing that song. Get down on it if you really want it. Get down on right. it. I don't even know if those are the real words. Those are the words they're giving me for you. So, excuse me. You need to you need to get on it. You need to just. Um, do this. And yes, I mean, you might need to, I don't know how long it takes to create an app or get like some kind of funding for apps, but you might need to work at a company. Um, yeah, you might need to, to work at a company while you're creating your app. And one of the elements of this app that you're going to create or this game at night I can say this because they're giving it to me, so I'm going to say it, but I, I'm always careful when it's somebody's creative business stuff that they're about to create. One of the things that I'm getting, and I don't know why I'm getting this, is the little person or, you know, thing that you have, avatar or person or whatever it is, can constantly change their look. Like when they go up a level, they get a whole new I don't even know if people would want that, but that that's like something. Maybe it's the, the the armor or the outfit that they get. I would call it an outfit instead of straight up armor. Okay. Maybe, maybe they go from coach to Versace. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I'm so joking. Um, I don't know anything about that world. Um, because I, I get, uh, yeah, I don't know. But but you're supposed to start right away. Please don't hesitate. Like, start playing with it today. I'm hearing that this is perfect timing astrologically 
and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like perfect timing it was like i didn't do anything wrong and they just removed me they didn't no one even spoke to me it was a computer algorithm and i was emailed like just we've removed you no explanation nothing and i didn't do anything wrong it was the craziest thing Okay, so here's what I'm going to say to you. And I know this is, please do not shoot the messenger because the messenger okay. does not like to be shot. Sometimes, and if you don't believe in God, that's okay. Just replace your word, whatever you believe in with the word God. I, I use the word God, so there it is. Oh my gosh. Um, sometimes God removes you from situations um, and people... Because that God knows things, heard things that you didn't or saw things that you didn't. And also because it's time for you to do your thing or get into a better group. We're never removed from something. We're never removed from a place where we are supposed to be. We're never removed yeah. from a situation well, I, we're not. I signed up. I did. Sorry. No, I ahead. did sign up for another app. Yes, I did sign up for another app yesterday, and I got a job out of them. So okay. hopefully, maybe the new app will be busy for me. And hoping. again, everything is a blessing. Everything is a blessing. Um, so yeah, and um, so please know that. Please. Um, Okay, so Lisa, just give me a second. Whoever is posting this, stop. Just stop. Just stop that. Stop that before you regret it. And for those of you who know, no. Um, okay, so now that that's done. Okay, here's what I'm going to say, Lisa. Um just be grateful that you were removed when you were removed and allow yourself to move into a better, a much, much better space. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. And, um, and know it's going to get better and work on your own private app because that's where the real, um, goodness is going to come from. Okay. Okay, really quick, um, on YouTube, somebody was just posting some silly shenanigans, so I'm uh, taking care of that, and I'm sorry it was a, a little bit distracting for a moment there. Um, so I'm going to go to the next caller, who is a 504. I want to thank... Um, say hi to Kathy. And I thought I saw somebody else come in, but Kathy, hey, thanks for joining us here this morning. Thank you again for being here with me. I'll be back Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes to answer your questions and connect you with your loved ones on the other side.